1800 meters, the first of eight at a glorious fall, they often racing to a good start. San Quentin, one of the first to land running. I am who I am, though, was a bit quicker in the early part. And I am who I am is going to go off to spearhead the attack over here. One length leader. Batik is there in second. The light blue with the pinks in second, about a length and a half off the leaders. Lebrowski got the white blaze in third. Then comes San Quentin. In a good rhythm, Sam Messier happy to race four lengths off the speed. Then comes Rishan's boy and flag bearer will have to get past them all. And that's racing about six lengths off the gallop. They're directly on the far side of the track. There's about 1,200 meters left to run. And lots of chopping and changing in behind the leader. And I am who I am is a one length leader, maybe two lengths. In second is Batik. Then comes San Quentin racing away in third. Further back to Lebrowski is on its lonesome, racing four lengths off the leader. Flag bearers towards the back, and then comes Rishan's boy, about seven lengths off the speed. Up the long vol straight they go. 800 meters left to run. I am who I am has been there from the onset. Is still a two-length leader. San Quentin has ranged up and joints Batik in second. Then comes Flag Bearer behind them. Further back to Lebrowski. And out back is Rishan's boy still eight lengths off them. Lots to play for. San Quentin now comes forward with authority. I am who I am is there now in second as San Quentin goes on the pounce and there's no hanging around. Flag bearers in third, but San Quentin, the ribbons have been cut and a shot two lanes clear. I am who I am is in second. Flag bearers racing away in third, but San Quentin has got a winning margin up to the 150. Gonna be hard to beat from here. San Quentin, hands and yells, justified support. San Quentin race over wins a good race. Flag bearer in second. I am who I am has run third. Batik has run fourth. Get footage of that. Thanks to Erica in the OB van. We'll try and get footage of what happened around the turn. But yes, San Quentin, who wins a clever race today. Well done to Ashley Fortune. Well done to Andrew back at home. Well done to Greg Bortz, Mayesh Chetty, Kay Janssen, Ashwin Reynolds, and F. Fahab. San Quentin, supported into 5 to 10, goes on to win a good race. Let's go and have a look at this footage quickly. We'll try and pull it up for you and see what happened around the turn. You'll see it looked like something fell out a saddlebag. Let's try and have a look at it. So you can see in front is I am who I am. Then Batik in second. On third, you've got the favorite San Quentin. That's towards the inside, the light blue. Then comes the Brausko who's got uh, the white blaze towards uh, the outside of Batik. Rishan's boy and flag bearer. So we'll try and pick up what's fallen over here. There you can see. It looks like it may have been Lebrowski. Don't hold me to it, but I think Lebrowski. Something's definitely fallen out over there from the saddle, but we'll get feedback from the staff, Pendry Stewards. Thanks to Erica and the OB van as we hand you back to the studio. Good start for punters here. We've got the straight line quartet. It won't pay much, but we've got it. Number one, San Quentin. Uh, best bet in the cards home here. Ashley Fortune, Sam Musia. Well done to Mrs. Blank, Chetty, Jansen, Reynolds and Vahab. And of course, Wilke Busdrift and Ritzfontein. Ashley Fortune here. Sam Musia aboard uh, this afternoon. Um, Sam, that's now 130 winners for you. And uh, yeah, very nice professional ride. Well done. Yes, I want to say thanks to all. And to win that race as a work rider is very hard. But I'm trying hard to win this race, uh, winners like, like this. I want to say thanks for Mr. Foshin. He phoned me before the norms. He said, I've got the, he wants to put me on the horse. I was watching the norms, where my horse is drawing. Oh, yeah, so my horse is drawing very nice, was drawing seven. He phoned me back again. He said, Musia, you've got a big chance. I want to say thanks for Mr. Foshin. Thanks for Madam also for Mr. Foshin. Thanks for the owner to give it, uh, uh, to me a chance. Thanks for everyone. Thank you to you, Sam. 130. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but of course you've got the most winners of any work rider in South Africa. And uh, you also work at the gate, so um, you've, got, you've got a bit of a double job. Yes, I want to say thanks. For, maybe I will... You know what? Uh, I'm working by the big stables for Mr. Paul, Paul Peter. Okay. I think I can make it another 50 again for Mr. Paul Peter because always he's got nice horses. I like it. And we know if we work in the men, if got horses like, like this, like Mr. Paul Peter. I'm starting half past four to work the horses. 
I think it is nice for me to work right away in like this. Thank you very much to support me for Mr. Paul again. Well done to you, Sam. Thanks, sir. Love you right again. Very, very proficient man, I keep saying. Um, well done to you. Uh, thank you very much to you and your lovely husband and everyone uh, for the confidence. Um, came through well. Yeah, a little bit nerve wracking. Um, we, we always loved this horse. Um, just bad planning on our part. He's let us down and it abs have ha absolutely nothing to do with him. Just us in a rush with him. Um, he had a bit of a time off with um, just a one or two niggles. So just hugely grateful to, uh, to all of his owners for allowing us the time. Uh, to let him strengthen and get over what he had with with his one leg, and yeah, he I think he will continue to reward them. You know, he's a lovely horse. Um, he he's won quite effectively today, and yeah, I don't think he'll stop here. I think he'll go on to bigger and better things because we do we do like him a lot. He's just a overgrown big baby and just still developing. Oh, good. It's a good start to the day for you. If I may just ask you about uh, Ephraim's boy, of course, in race four. You and I have chatted. You've got the four claimer up there and has to be ridden very carefully. Yeah, I just think if he's in a hurry, it, he's going to stop dead before he hits the 100 meter mark. So if he can play a game of uh, patience, patience, then I, I think he will be some sort of a runner. You know, I, I, I strongly believe the horse is a 900 meter specialist. And I think if you ride him accordingly, he will give everything to the line. So I'm hoping Sianda gives him the sort of patient ride that he needs and deserves to get him to the line first. And then, of course, you've got uh, Brendan James and uh, Prime Example. Yeah, Brendan James is a bit tough throwing him against uh, one or two really decent campaigners, obviously being a one-time winner against Ocean Warrior is mm. a bit tough. But if we get close, um, run second or third, I'll be very grateful for that. And then at least I know which direction to go with him. Uh, and uh, Prime Example at the back, riding for luck. We just want to see where we are with him and see what sort of future... Uh, we have with him and, and where to you know plot our next course with him. Lovely, thank you so much. I just want to say well done to all the owners, mm -hmm. Greg, Mayesh, Faisal, uh, Ashwin and mm -hmm. Keenan. Uh, a lovely ride from Sam. I just I thought you gave him an absolute peach of a ride in, in a very um, wobbly work riders race and yeah, just well done to the whole team at home and thank you to Fundamali. Thank you to you. Awesome, thank well you. Well done Ash. And again, you've got to get out to the course and see Ashley doing her jump after a race. So she really can jump this lady. You have to see it to believe it. One, two, seven, five. We've got that straight line called Teton Race 1. I'm sure it hasn't paid, but it's a good start for punters.